They are everyday people doing incredible work in our communities, from life-saving first responders to teachers inspiring in the classroom. The Red Cross will honor its class of 2023 heroes later this week. We're speaking to one of those heroes live in a moment. But first, our Marissa Perlman joined him on the hardwood as he returned to doing what he loved. Coach Sean Harrington feels at peace at Children of Peace Catholic School. Basketball was my first love and still is. Harrington, a Chicago Hoops standout and former coach at Marshall High School, appeared in the 90s basketball doc Hoop Dreams. But these kids say they just love his kicks and his confidence. Hold the follow through. Every Friday, you'll find him here teaching basketball fundamentals. Control the balls. And life. But this time, he's coaching from a wheelchair. If they're surprised by the fact, hey, there's this guy in a wheelchair that can teach me how to play basketball, I'm, I'm fine with that. Every time I see one of these kids shoot a jump shot and it goes in, I felt like I shot it. It's the small moments like this that help Coach live out his hoop dreams on the court, but it's also a way for him to have tough conversations with his students about what's happening off the court and in the community. These kids are around it every day, and with social media being, there's no way to hide it from him. It's been eight years since Harrington was shot twice and paralyzed in a drive-by shooting at a red light in Humboldt Park. That January day, he was taking his daughter to elementary school and was shot while shielding her from the bullets. And it's been harder for her than it's been for me. For the first time, we speak with her by phone. She still worries for her family's safety and doesn't want to show her face. But now watching her dad back on the court brings her peace. To see that he's okay, it kind of puts a Band-Aid on the wounds. And she's never been more proud. I can just remember him saying that he can't wait to get back around his kids. Good job. And Sean says he needs these kids as much as they need him. I'm continuing to pass that dream on. Marissa Perlman, CBS2 News. Joining us now is a man who we are speaking of, Sean Harrington of Oak Park. You are the Red Cross's education hero for your work as a teacher and coach at Children of Peace Catholic School. You were paralyzed. Um, covering your daughter, shielding her from, from gunfire roughly a, a decade ago, uh, saving her life, risking your life. Uh, you are now uh, paralyzed, uh, and now you're getting this, this hero recognition. Now, you've often been called that, but this is a next-level hero with the, the Red Cross uh, recognition. What does it mean to you? Um. Uh, that I'm here doing what I'm supposed to do, uh, working with our youth and uh, helping our kids uh, to get acknowledged for something that I love doing, which is working, in, working with kids, is uh, a truly an honor and a blessing in itself. Your story uh, is incredible. You were a basketball player, a star yourself, even in the movie Hoop Dreams. Um, and again, you were paralyzed, shielding your daughter from gunfire. You've overcome a lot. It's been nine years since that happened, uh, Mr. Harrington. Where are you in your journey of um, acceptance? Uh, I've definitely accepted um, uh, my reality, uh, what my life entails now. Um, and that is what's helped me on this journey. I've been able to accept what has happened, that I can move forward. And uh, so that I'm still able to do what I love to do is uh, work with kids. And it's a remarkable thing. Chicago is, of course, grappling with gun violence. You've lived through what uh, so many are experiencing right now. How does that experience, and I've seen this firsthand as a reporter. I, you know, I've seen going into, into houses where they're dealing with the most traumatic thing they'll ever deal with in the night it happens. You can often tell uh, this person's gonna go to drugs, this person's gonna turn to the Lord, this person's gonna, you know, this is gonna break up a marriage. You turned your ultimate pain into to helping. How, how did you, how do you reconcile those things? Not most people have the humanity to do that. I don't know. I just um, found out what was the, when I find when I find that uh, part of my life was going to be in with me in this chair. It was just a matter of years finding out what was next for me. And I still enjoy working with kids and teaching basketball. And um, it was um, I mean, it took a while. Uh, it took a while for me to get mentally where I'm at now. 
of the support of my family uh, being there for me. Um, and I, I know I, I know like them by this is wrecking our city right now, but I get so much love and support from around my city. I, when I'm going around the city, different places, people sometimes recognize me and they remember my story and say that I'm playing for you, I'm still praying for you, uh, wishing me, giving me my blessings and things like that. So uh, that has definitely helped uh, in this journey. But I've, I've prayed a lot and I've been prayed for a lot. And uh, that's what has gotten me so far uh, to where I'm at now in this journey. What is your message to this city grappling with violence? It is your city. And what is your message to young youth who are in that time where they may make a mistake? They may be the shooter. They may be shot. What's your message? Um, I just want to, I'd like you to realize that uh, education is really the key. Education is the key to open up the doors of opportunity. And while, 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 um, while, while out pursuing that education, it can open and broaden so, so many doors. Um, the thing that's going on in the body, I, we, we definitely can't give up on our kids. Like I said, I know a lot of times kids seem like they're less than what they are. So uh, we just got to continue to um, to search for, to search together uh, as a city with all what's going on. I would, if I had the idea, I swear I'd be standing out on the corner bottling and handing it out right now if I had to. If I had the solution, rather, mm -hmm. but it's definitely going to take us as a city to uh, um, just to get just to get uh, get back what we were, and it definitely still takes a village. All right, so I'm just happy now that I could be part of that village and help um, help our youth. Okay, Mr. Harrington, the Red Cross Education Hero. Thank you for what you do, and thank you for your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you for the thank you for this honor. I can't thank Red Cross enough. This is just truly an honor and a blessing. So thank you all so much. Well, you are, uh, we are honored to have you and congratulations. Thank you.